We owe each other certain duties as members of a community that we call a nation. Whenever we can do anything to make another person's life better, at no or little cost to ourselves, we have a solemn obligation to proceed and do it. There is fundamental, a fundamental level that at which we are morally obligated to think about our duties to the unemployed youth, vulnerable communities struggling in slums, and other people at risk of exclusion. Their struggle for dignity as human beings appeals to our duty of moral consideration. Their complicated pursuit of livelihood can potentially complicate our stable prospects. No human is an island. In community lies power, and to unlock that power, we must attend to our values and perform our obligations. That is why freedom fighters consider, that is why freedom fighters consider the inherent morality of their cause to be sufficient reward. For example, those, are, those of us who are earning Kenya shillings 200,000 monthly will pay only 2,500 to build a fund that will help, help create millions of jobs for millions of our young people and bring a meal on the tables of many hustlers. This is a worthwhile contribution to make for the greater good of our nation as indeed the freedom fighters who came before us did. As we continue to make progress in our pursuit of the transformation of our economy from the bottom going up, we must remain vigilant that no one is left behind and no resources are lost to waste and corruption. Public servants must ensure that public resources must be utilized solely and exclusively for purposes that serve the interests of all our people. I will not permit greed, lawlessness, or impunity. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our collective duty. Sisi wote kama wa Kenya. Mimi nimekuja hapa embu katika sherehe hii ya muhimu ya madaraka ili tukubaliane kama wananchi vile wale walio tutangulia bila ya kujali watapata nini walipigania uhuru wetu damu yao ikamwagika wengine wakauawa lakini hawakurudi nyuma kwa sababu kama wangerudi nyuma leo tungekuwa watumwa wa wale walikuwa wametutawala na ndio tunajiuliza kama taifa kama wa Kenya it is the moment for us to ask what can i do for my nation not what can my nation do for me both questions must be answered in the affirmative sote kama wananchi wa taifa la Kenya tumesema ya kwamba jambo la muhimu ambalo lilikuwa katika uchaguzi uliopita ilikuwa ni maneno ya uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya ilikuwa ni maneno ya wananchi mamilioni vijana wetu ambao hawana ajira ilikuwa ni kati ya wale watu wengi hawana uwezo ya kupata mkopo kwa sababu hawana title deed hawana logbook leo ni jukumu letu kuhakikisha hata na wao wako na uwezo wako na e, njia ya kupata mkopo wajiendelese maisha yao leo katika embu hapa wale walio katika vyama wale walio katika sako leo tunaanzisha hasla fund stage 2 ambayo itatoa pesa kati ya shilingi 1200 na shilingi milioni moja kwa vikundi ambazo zitajisajili ili tuweze kufikisha mambo ya kupata mkopo kwa wananchi wengi vile vile katika mpango wetu wa ujenzi wa manyumba nilikuwa hapa embu wiki iliyopita 
tumeanzisha ujenzi awamu ya kwanza nyumba mia moja kati mia ine ambazo tuna, ni awamu ya kwanza nimesema nitarudi hapa embu kama vile nitaenda sehemu zote za taifa letu la Kenya ili tuweze kujenga nyumba elfu mia mbili kila mwaka katika taifa letu la Kenya sitatupatia ajira ya vijana milioni moja sitatuwezesha kampuni zetu za simiti kampuni zetu za chuma wale wanaotengeneza viti wale wanaotengeneza milango wale wanaotengeneza madirisha wale mafundi technicians masons carpenters electricians engineers architects quantity surveyors wale wanaofanya kazi katika transport sector madreva wetu makanga wetu wote watajumuika na tutakuwa na nafasi ya kupanga na kutengeneza ajira katika taifa letu la Kenya tuwaondoe vijana wetu ambao wako mitaani wako masokoni wako katika vijiji wamemaliza shule wamekamilisha college wamemaliza university lakini hawana ajira ni jukumu letu kama taifa kupanga ili vijana milioni tano wasiokuwa na ajira katika taifa letu la Kenya na wanaongezeka elfu mia nane kila mwaka tuwapangie ajira wasijisimamie na watusaidie kuendesha taifa letu na pia wao wachangie katika kulipa ushuru tuweze kujiondoa kama taifa kwa madeni na tujisimamie kama taifa letu la Kenya na wauliza wa Kenya wote jameni bila ya kuulizwa maswali ya kwamba mbona ni jukumu langu vipi tujue ya kwamba wale watoto ambao wanaangaika madukani barabarani vijijini hawa vijana ni watoto wetu hawa vijana ni wa Kenya wenzetu tujiulize vile vile wale wa Kenya wanaishi katika vitongoji duni zaidi ya wa Kenya milioni saba jameni tuwaokoe pia hata na wao wanafaa kuwa na makao ya kutosha makao ma ambayo ni inawapatia heshima na ni jukumu letu sisi zote kama taifa moja taifa la Kenya mimi nawashukuru sana mimi nimefurahi kwamba leo katika Kenya mjadala sio ya kabila hii na kabila ile mjadala ni moja ni vipi tutahakikisha ya kwamba watoto wetu wanapata ajira ni vipi kampuni zetu za manufacturing zitaendelea mbele ni vipi tutakuwa na mpango wa kila mkenya kupata mkopo ni vipi tutasaidia wakulima wetu watuzalishie chakula tuondoe aibu ya njaa that is the conversation of our lifetime and that is a positive conversation in the republic of kenya mimi nawashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Embu nimefurahi sana watu wa Embu nimesikia yale kiongozi wenu wa bunge wenu wameniambia kuhusu barabara zenu barabara ya kutoka kule Mashanga mpaka PI nimesikia barabara ya Kiritiri Kanywambora nimesikia barabara ya hapa chini Ena mpaka Kavue nimesikia na haya mambo yote tutajipanga na sote tukiwa na mpango huu tukipanga vizuri vile tutakuwa na pesa ya ushuru ya kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele tutajiondoa kwa madeni na tutakamilisha miradi yetu yote nimewasikiza vile vile kuhusu mambo yenu ya maji najua na mnaelewa ya kwamba tuko na mpango ya mambo ya maji hapa embu Tuko na damu ambayo tutajenga pale Kamumu. Tuko na damu ya Dhambana. Tuko na damu ya Doshi. Na tuko na damu zingine ndogo ndogo ambazo tutakubaliana na viongozi wenu wa bunge wenu pamoja na county government yenu iko katika mipango yetu. Haya mipango yote ni kwa manufaa yenu. Na ni jukumu letu sote tuungane kama watu wa Embu kama watu wa Kenya ndio tuweze kutekeleza haya mambo mazuri yote 
ambayo yatatupeleka mbele kama taifa letu la Kenya. Najua vile vile mjumbe wa kutoka kule mbele aliniambia kuhusu barabara ya Kikunyari, Kari, Ishara. Pia hiyo barabara tutaishughulikia na zile zingine zote ambazo hazijatajwa hapa. Mimi nataka niwaambie ya kwamba tuko pamoja, tutashirikiana pamoja. Watu wa Embu tumekubaliana. Embu tumekubaliana. Mimi nataka nisikie sauti yenu tumekubaliana watu wa Embu. Embu nisikie sauti yenu tena watu wa Embu kama tumekubaliana. Asanteni sana. It is now my honor and pleasure to introduce and officially launch the second product of Hustler Fund, the Hustler Group Loan. Asiri tutaangalia pale kwa mtandao kidogo. Sasa, vikundi kote nchini vinaweza kujiwezesha kwa kuweka akiba na kupata mikopo ya bei nafuu kupitia simu wakijiunga na Hustler Fund.